questions, Question Oral, the Honorable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, Canadians woke up this morning and were shocked to learn they have a new NDP Liberal government that is planning to spend and tax unlike anything we've seen before. Now things are starting to make sense. Now we understand why the NDP have been so eager to prop up the Liberals and their unethical behaviour. It's because they have been cooking up a secret backroom deal. My question to the leader of the new NDP Liberal Party is this. When did he start these secret talks with his new Deputy Prime Minister, the member for Burnaby South? Was it before, during, or just after the last election? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. This agreement means is in this time of uncertainty and pressures on Canadians, we're going to have predictability and an ability to focus on delivering the things that Canadians asked us all for collectively in the last election. Uh, more investments in housing, uh, better support for families, help with the cost of living, growth for Canadians, the fight against climate change increased, uh, and support on reconciliation. The toxicity and polarization that we had seen in Parliament of the past uh, is now an opportunity for us to deliver for Canadians, and that's what we shall do. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Suffering because of massive inflation, which is caused by the out of control spending of the old Liberal government. Now, Canadians are going to be living with a new NDP Liberal government, and the price tag has just skyrocketed. The NDP Liberal government's initial platform will cost over $200 billion, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. Can the NDP Liberal Prime Minister tell Canadians how much this backroom deal is going to cost them? Here, here. To the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we made a commitment in the last election to invest in housing, to invest in support for families, to invest in childcare, to grow the economy, to fight the pandemic, to move forward on fighting climate change. These are all things that we continue to be focused on. And Mr. Speaker, what we're going to see is an ability to work across party lines to reduce the toxic partisanship that we've seen in the past in this House and actually move forward on delivering concrete for Canadians. That's what Canadians want. That's what we're going to deliver. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Speaker, we've seen an attack from the left on Canada's oil and gas sector, our agricultural sector and fisheries. All huge job creators. And now that extreme left-wing wing agenda has been baked into this secret backroom deal. The NDP Liberal platform will double down and intensify the attack on Canadian natural resources and jobs. So Canadians deserve to know how many more jobs are going to be lost specifically in our natural resources because of the NDP Liberal government and their backroom deal. To the right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians saw what aggressive partisanship and toxicity in this place uh, led to in terms of uh, uh, a slowed down agenda delivering for Canadians. What we've been able to do uh, in moving forward during this pandemic, seeing Canadians come together, is actually what we're going to be able to continue to do moving forward. Deliver on the things uh, that we stood up for uh, in the last election. Deliver for Canadians and the things that they need to grow the economy, create good jobs for everyone, uh, while fully continuing to respect Parliament. I'm going to take a moment here and just to remind folks that uh, there's been a great uh, uh, and listening of the of the questions, and I'm hoping there's going to be a good listening of the answers, so that we can uh, make sure make sure that we understand where everybody stands in this 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 issue. But I'm hearing I'm hearing lots of lots of uh, lots of shots coming over here, so I want to be be sure that we actually hear the answers that the prime minister is trying to give us. The honourable the official leader of the the of the honourable leader of the official opposition. Speaker, make no mistake, Mr. Speaker, this backroom deal disrespects Parliament and it disrespects every single Canadian voter. Yeah, right. 
Gas prices right now are shockingly high and they're going up, unfairly punishing Canadians and families. But today, Conservatives have proposed a reasonable and positive solution to save Canadians money at the gas pump. Conservatives are consistently conservative and we always want to lower taxes for all Canadians. Will the NDP Liberal government tell this House if they support our motion or will their first act as a coalition government be to continuing punishing Canadians with high taxes at the gas pumps? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The uh, leader of the official opposition needs to be careful when she's talking about supporting democracy, not spreading misinformation and disinformation at the same time. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Canadians returned this parliament in a minority situation in the last election because they expected parties to work together collaboratively to deliver for Canadians. That is exactly what we're doing as we reach out across party lines to work together on the things where we agree and there will be plenty of room for robust, informed debate in the areas we disagree. That's how Parliament should work, Mr. Speaker, and we will continue to stand up for democracy.